Last week, I made a video talking about a replacement for voice meter. This is a huge video, definitely worth a watch. You can check it out using the info card here or using the link in the description below. The reason this video is so important is because voice meter, as you guys know, is very complicated and not really easy to set up, especially for beginners in audio. You have voice meter outputs, you have voice meter inputs, you have default devices, default comms devices, so on and so forth. It's incredibly confusing as a new streamer and a beginner in audio. This new plugin that we talked about in the video last week is a game changer for every live streamer out there because it makes it incredibly easy to separate your audio sources within OBS and capture the sources that you need so that you can apply the filters that you want and the adjustments that you want and add the most creativity that you want to your stream. That video last week brought up some questions from users on how to capture your desktop audio, your alert audio, that sort of thing on your OBS window so that you have all those sounds that you need as a streamer. In this video, we're gonna be talking about how to use that plugin as if you were gonna capture every single audio source that you need as a streamer so that you know how to set it up for yourself. All right, we're not gonna waste any time in this video. I wanna jump right into it for you guys. So the goal here, the objective here is to separate every single audio source that we're gonna be using on our stream so that it is organized and so that we can apply filters, so on and so forth. So first of all, I wanna make sure that I am capturing my microphone. You probably have done this already, but if not, follow these steps. We're gonna to go to my settings. In the settings, we're gonna to go to audio, and what we're gonna do is disable each one of these audio sources. The reason we're disabling each one of these sources here is because we're gonna be setting up these sources separately with the plugin that you've installed. If you haven't installed that plugin yet, make sure you watch that video from last week so that you can get that plugin installed and then come back to this video so that you can set it up for yourself. After you've disabled every single one of those sources, what you're gonna do is create a new audio input capture device and you're going to create it for your microphone. From there, you can add any filters that you need to your mic to make it sound better, so on and so forth. If you haven't watched any of my videos for setting up your mic, I will link one in the info card here or in the description below so that you can have a step-by-step -step guide on how to make your microphone sound better if you wanna sound like a professional live streamer. The next step is to set up our browser, our music, and then most importantly, our alerts so that the alert audio is being captured within this OBS window as well. With that new plugin, what we're gonna do is click the plus button. We're gonna go to application audio output capture. This is the OBS plugin that we installed. For this first one, we're gonna set it up for browser. I'm just gonna label it browser three because I have the label for browser, browser two already. For browser, what we're gonna do is set the mode to capture specific window. The window that we're gonna capture is the Chrome EXE or whatever browser that you use. And most importantly, for the window match priority, we're gonna make sure it's match title, otherwise find window of same executable. This will make sure it's grabbing every Chrome.exe file that is playing audio on your desktop so that every browser window that you have open that's playing audio is gonna be captured on this source. Go ahead and click Okay, I wanna show you that this is accurate in how it's set up by playing an audio file. From here, I'm just gonna to go to YouTube. What I'll do is play this video on my channel here. Since I started this channel, that I've ever had this thought that this, and as you can see, that audio from that video on YouTube is being picked up within OBS uh, from that Chrome EXE file on our desktop. We're gonna do the same thing now with our music audio. So I'm going to create a new source, application audio output capture. We're gonna make it music. I'm going to create new. Same thing, we're gonna capture specific uh, window and the window I'm gonna select is the YouTube music desktop app. You can select Spotify, you can select title, whatever music app that you use. Make sure that this is match title, otherwise find window of same executable and go ahead and click OK. Now I'm gonna open up my app. I'm gonna find some copyright free music, DMCA free music to play for you guys. And as you can tell, it works just fine. We're gonna repeat this process for our communication audio and most importantly, our alert system. But first let's do our communications. So same thing, we're gonna create a new one here. I'm gonna label it communications. Uh, dash discord because that's my communication audio 
I'm going to select the window for discord.exe. Same thing. We're going to select the same here for window match priority and click OK. The way you can test this is by going to your settings, voice and video, and then um, doing a check. When you do a mic check, you should you see it going, it going up, up and down. down in OBS. in OBS. That's how you know that you have your communication audio source set up correctly. Last but not least, you're going to want to have your alerts on your stream. What we're going to do is going to we're going to snag the link for our alert system. In my case, I use stream elements. So I suggest that you use stream elements or something similar that will give you a link for your alert system. And what you can do is toggle this on here. Control audio via OBS. Once you toggle that on, the alerts will be in your audio mixer. And what we can do is go over to stream elements and test an event. And what you'll notice is that alert audio is playing through OBS. After you've done this, you're obviously gonna want the video game that you're playing on your stream as well. So for any video game that you play, you're gonna open that video game up and create an audio source for it using the same steps that we've applied for all the other audio sources. For the sake of this video, I'll just open up Valheim. Once Valheim is open, what I'm gonna do is create a new source. And again, we're gonna select the game source and click OK. And now you should be hearing that Valheim audio, which is just that air noise from the game. Uh, looks like this here. Um, so yeah, the next thing I want to do is show you guys how you can organize this to make your life a little bit easier. What you can do if you want to is create a new scene and you can name that scene audio sources. Once you have the audio sources scene created, what you're going to do is add in all of the audio sources into that scene. I'm going to do that real quick. Once you have all the audio sources in that audio sources scene, what you can do is add a new source. You can add a scene and you can add that audio sources scene. This will make it easier when you're adding audio sources to every one of your scenes. You can just add all of the audio sources from that audio sources scene into that scene. I know that was kind of confusing, but it's a nested scene and it will make your life a whole lot easier when you're creating audio sources for your stream. If you found this video confusing at all, jump in my Discord server, link in the description below, and I will help you or one of my uh, helpers will help you. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe for more content like this. I have some amazing content planned for you guys. And if you guys have any suggestions for content, I would like to hear it in the comment section below. I wanna thank you again for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.